So we know from some neighbouring farms uh, close by that there's barn owl activity uh, on this landscape. The landowner got in touch with us. He was looking for ways that he could improve the farmland for wildlife. So what can a farmer or a landowner do uh, to help the barn owl? There's a couple of things. One of them is looking at um, habitat where it can source food. So a barn owl needs small mammals in order to survive, like mice and shrews. So if you're like an arable farmer, you can have the retention of your, your stubbles through the winter because small mammals will be looking for spilt grain and amongst that, they in turn are then food for the barn owl. There's areas of rough grass because in rough grass, again, you get that litter layer where the small mammals can build their nests. A barn owl sees that and thinks perfect. I can hunt there. Um, there's going to be wildflower areas here, so there'll be lots of seed in amongst there. That will attract small mammals. So we're looking at that habitat where they can hunt for food, really good, and um, picking all the boxes there. And then the other thing is, there's some good mature trees on this site that are just perfect for putting up a barn owl box. So we got in touch with our friends at Ulster Wildlife. They've come down today and they're going to be putting up a couple of boxes. There's less than 30 pair of barn owl left in Northern Ireland. Um, it's really important that we give them as much support and, and help as we can. If we think the habitat's right in an area, we can come out and put up a nesting box for them and hope that they will use it. We have to usually come out and do a site visit first and make sure we pick the right tree. So it's really important to get the box up in the right place. If it's tilted at all, it means the eggs will roll or if it's leaning back, the rain can get in. So this is a barn owl nesting box. So you can see the sides are slightly angled and that's so the water runs off it in the tree. It's got a flat top here, so sometimes the birds like to sit and perch on that. It's also got a little shelf here, and the young will come out here and they can stretch their wings and hang out here before they practice flying. And this really is the bit that the birds look for, this kind of dark gap, and that kind of basically emulates a, an old cavity in a tree or a barn or an old building. And then we've got this little um, door at the bottom, so we can take that off and that means that we can clean it out in the winter if needs be or if we're ringing chicks, hopefully in the spring and summer, um, we can go in there and get them safely. Usually they are site faithful to their boxes, so if um, a bird has used it, they are more likely to come back and use it again the next year. Whenever the nearby barn owls are doing well, they're young, that next generation of barn owls is going to need new territory to move into and we're just making that as easy as possible to really help bring about that recovery of this iconic farmland bird.